Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cassandra, aka the Prosperous Heart, owner of www.prosperousheart.com. And in this video, I am going to be sharing with you how to use Word Swag in order to create some really incredible designs, both either, in, or excuse me, either in JPEG or um, PNG, and show you how you can use that to create additional income streams online. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I want to do is, um, this is my phone. I'm going to go ahead and go to Word Swag. Oh, it would not be that one. It would be that one. <laughs> let's move Keisha off there. Hey, girl. All right, so when WordSwag comes up, there's a couple of settings that you need to be aware of. So click, tap on more. And then if you look here, there's under options, you can save your images as JPEG or PNG. I would suggest always choosing PNG. That way um, you ha they're, they're saved as, as that particular file. And there are certain, and unless you need a JPEG, there are certain websites that only require PNG, especially for when you want to print on demand, which I'll talk about here in a moment. So you can also turn the startup sounds on or off. I personally like to turn them off because it plays even when my phone is on mute. And it has a video tutorial there as well, but you're watching mine here. So, so after you change those settings, the next thing you do is that you can either take a picture or you can click on here and bring a photo either from your camera roll, which you would click tap here, or you can choose one of these, or you can even do a search such as happy and when you clicked enter it would load some images that are free of use um, that these the uh, it pulls from places like um, pixabay and things like that uh, see there's pixabay right there so you can you can search for a term or you can simply use these backgrounds or uh, in the case of when you're using print on demand you would choose transparent background because when you're doing print on demand um, you want it to be transparent so that it doesn't pick up any extra ink that should not be there. It, nothing would be more frustrating than to have a off-white cup with a bright white background, right? So, so you choose transparent background, and then here are all the different options you can choose. It doesn't matter which one you want because you can you can choose one. Let's say um, I actually like the curtains a lot. You can see that it changes with each number, and if you don't like any of them here on the row, you can click the dice for a different uh, random set of information. And um, the thing is, is that you can't go back, so you may have to shuffle through these a few times. If you find one you like and weren't and didn't save it for some reason, um, you can click the, through it here and you'll probably eventually get to it. Now, how do you change the text? You double tap on that and you can change it here. Um, you can add, even add a quote in here. And then if this section right here, auto line breaks off, that simply means that the breaks that you have are the breaks that you want versus if you turn that on, it would determine how it wanted to break up your words. So I'm gonna leave auto line breaks on. This, this section right here um, are just different phrases that you could do. So let's say that you are ambitious and you really um, want to help people uh, grow their mindset and be you know, more focused on achieving their goals, you might want to do stay hungry. So if you never try, you'll never know. That's actually a really good one. So we'll do save and close. And um, you can go through here and choose ones that you like. Now, um, something that Keisha was sharing with us is that on print on demands, you might like, uh, one thing might look good um, for one particular piece of merchandise and one thing might not. So if you need to change the colors, you can actually click tap on here for color and then instead of white you could do black and as you can see it does change so pretty cool um, you can also change transparency but since you're putting this on merchandise for print on demand uh, you should leave it at the top of the transparency so that it's not actually transparent so once you decide that you found one you like you just click on save and it saves it to your phone now let's say that you wanted to create another um, edition of it, right? So you could simply click this back button. If you click share, you can share the one you just did. You can add a logo or watermark, which I will do in a different video. Um, and you can also re-swag it, which means it keeps the image that you just had and you cannot make any more changes. However, if you tap this back button, you can change the color back to another one, right? 
save. And now you'll have two images um, that you can use for your print on demand. Now, that is the training for this. Like I said, if you wanted to share, you could do that. And you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and lop it in here, how to do an ad logo or watermark. So the first thing you need to do is actually need to, um, uh, oh, I just lost my train of thought, sorry, haha. <laughs> oh, you need to create your own. So uh, by doing what we just did, that is technically a watermark. So we have a um, couple of watermarks you can use. So if we come back over here and do just any search for any image, right? Um, I'm going to use this one. Then what you can do is um, what you can, uh, with these, oh, that's cute. So you can choose the different sizes, right? Uh, whichever one you want to do. Uh, I have been lately doing the square one. That way I can just share it out with all of my different um, social media applications. And then uh, you would click crop. And then as you can see, this image here, um, was the one that you that you just did. Now let's say that you had saved this, right? Uh, let's go ahead and actually I can't. Let's uh, change it this way. Hold on, I am having to. Oh no! Hold on, technical difficulties. Well, I had some technical difficulties, so I'm just gonna start over. <laughs> so um, let's say that we were choosing this background. Uh, we'll do this one, and I'm we're not I'm not doing anything specific right now. So I'm just gonna go through, choose the crop, right? Gonna do stuff. Yay! Choose one of these. Um, Whatever. Uh, so you choose what you want, and you choose a style. I actually really like that. Nice. Um, so then you save it, right? Well, what you can do is remember when I said that when you create a transparent background image, it can act like a watermark? This is something that you want to do with every piece of content that you create, so that way if somebody shares your image and does not give you credit, it still has credit to your site on it. So click Add Logo Watermark. We'll use Save Images last time. And this is one that I previously created. Um, I would make it bigger, but um, that was one of the issues that I had is that um, I can only do that with my phone. So um, if I was just on my phone and not sharing this through side sync, you would use two fingers, kind of like an apple, put them close together and then put them on your screen and spread them apart and it will make it bigger. And then as you tap and drag, you can move it wherever you want on the screen. I usually try to make mine about center unless it makes sense to uh, put it someplace else. You can also turn it. I can't d demonstrate for you that right now, but you just basically, as your fingers are on the screen, you just rotate them around and it will make it that way as well. So again, transparency, you can make it almost not seeable. You can make it completely white. If you are doing something for Facebook ads, um, obviously you wanna do the Facebook ad 20 checker uh, to make sure it's it's golden, but if you make it semi-transparent, it does make it difficult to pick up as text sometimes. So just a quick ninja tidbit for you there. And so there you go. And so you just click save, and then you would be able to share to whatever it is that you want it to share it to. So there we go. And I'm gonna go on buffer and I will share it wherever I wanna share it to. So I have a, a pro account, so I have lots and lots of profiles I can send this to. Do, do, we're just gonna do all of those there. And then I would make some copy, which is just the words, and then I would push it out. So that's basically it. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, that is something that I know as the uh, training that I've gone through for myself um, for my social media marketing business. However, the what is print on demand is an incredible training by Keisha Bass. You must pick this up before she increases the price on Friday. Right now it's only $100 at the time of this recording. And I kid you not, the print on demand course alone in this training is worth over $2,000. Not only that, but she's got like she she's bringing in several different people who are who are going to be talking to you about email uh, 
Insta Instagram marketing and, you know, bu um, building your list and all kinds of amazing things that, uh, if you knew how much I spent in, in not only getting trained and, you know, checking things out like this and using different tools, this is a steal. She is basically giving this away to you at $100 a pop. Get on this before she raises the price $297, all right? it's She's going to be raising it to $497, so right now you are saving Three hundred and ninety-seven bucks. Oh my gosh, you're saving almost four hundred dollars. Seriously, pick up this training. It's going to be amazing. Not only that, but when you go through my affiliate link, which will be in the description of this video, once you go through that link, not only are you going to get all of her bonuses, but you're going to get mine, which basically what that means is, as I said before, I have spent thousands of dollars on my education because I know how important it is to have an online presence, which is what this this business, this uh, training is, is going to show you how to create uh, a, a powerful online presence. And You'll have my knowledge, you'll have her training, and you'll be a part of my private group where you will learn how to utilize Facebook marketing, both free and paid, to further increase your reach and further uh, in, uh, create prosperity with your desired streams of income. So thank you so much for watching. Looking forward to seeing you on the other side. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day.